because, like, like you said, you know, when I first came to Trading 180, you know, right? So when I first came, I was just, I was focused on the, uh, the fundamentals, but so it was kind of hard for me, you know, to, to, to do the strategies with, you know, uh, with the technicals, you know, that's why, you know, when, if you remember, I, when I first came, I was kind of like back testing them. I wasn't, yeah. I was actually trading them, you know, yeah. I was just back testing them, but, and it came to me, man, when I seen how effective they was, you know, at catching bargain prices, you know, and I try to understood the, you know, the, uh, the method, you know, of what, you know, of, of how you uh, trade it, you know mm. what I'm saying? And man, it was spot on, spot yeah. on. Hi, my name is Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com. And in this interview, I have a, uh, a, a trader who has come leaps and bounds with his trading. Um, Spencer um, joined, <laughs> um, joined what, 20, 2000, what, 2021, something like that. Been with me maybe about yeah, a year 21, and a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, Spencer's agreed to share his experience with Trading 180, his trading journey, and where he is at now with his trading, since being with uh, with me and mentoring and uh, the Trading 180 group. So, um, Spencer, uh, how did you get into trading, first of all? Um, yeah, so how did I get into trading, you know? Um... I, I I had always had this little intriguing attitude with, you know, wanting to, you know, uh, you know, be my own boss or, you know, do my own little thing or whatever. So I got into trading because, you know, uh, I was just thinking like, man, how can I make that money work for itself instead of me have to work so hard for the money? You know, I, you know, so and I actually man, and I like uh, chat B G uh, G G P T yeah. too, you know, because yeah. you know you can look it up, you know. So and it and it came right up trading, you know what I'm saying, right. you know. So that's actually how I really got into trading, you know what I'm saying. It, well, okay. it was uh, investing, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, investing. yeah. Similar stories. I, I included myself. Um, you know, so many stories and interviews that I've done with traders, and everyone pretty much says the same thing in terms of look, just taking control of your destiny knowing that a nine to five isn't going to be the way that you're going to achieve um, any kind of, you know, uh, a quality of life. You know what I mean? You're in the rat race, et cetera. So 100%. Um, so how did you find uh, trading 180? Uh, you know, um, I like, I uh, want to say that I like YouTube and, you know, man, you know, just going through those periods, you know, where I was going through YouTube and, you know, and I, uh, I was always into the technical analysis side of trading because I used to trade options probably, right. you know, uh, uh, back in 2008 and, uh, you know, they have lost a lot of money, but uh, I understood. So I, I was looking up fundamentals one day and trading 180 popped up, you know. Brilliant. Yeah, Brilliant. Yeah. Excellent. Well, so what made you think about, what, what made you think about fundamentals though? What was, what was the trigger about fundamentals that you thought, you know, that you needed more with 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 uh, with your technicals what was the uh yeah. the moment yeah so the technicals like they work don't get me wrong you know they work but it was like it was just it wasn't enough you know i was looking at the market and you know when i was i go and i try to read articles and lord knows i wasn't understanding nothing at that time you know mm -hmm. before i had met you i wasn't you know, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what those articles were saying. And, yeah. you know, I, I was, yeah. what is this? You know, they talking about jobs and, you know, GDP. And I'm like, yeah. oh my God, what's this? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I didn't know anything about that stuff, man. So, you know, man, that that's another thing, Trading 180, you know what I'm saying? You know, when I first looked at that first video, you know, um, man, you know, uh, it was, it was about, uh, fundamental analysis and all those uh, fundamental indicators that you look at and you know and I'm like okay this was that was that was that was, that really brightened me up you know I said okay this this is where I need to be you know yeah okay yeah. all right brilliant so how I guess specifically has fundamentals since you've been trading it um and applying it to your to the technicals right how has that um I guess uh how has the fundamentals really helped with your technicals specifically? Yeah. 
So, so how fundamentals help me? I would, I would say you training blind without techniques. I mean, without fundamentals. You know what I'm saying? Now that's what me. I would say, I would say, I wouldn't even open up a chart now, and not look at the fundamentals first. first. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. So how? So how? So how? Because uh, coming, I know my experience and. Um, how easy is it to actually, or I guess the shift, because it takes some time for you to get used to going to the fundamentals first and then the technicals, right? And then you go open a chart. Most people, most traders, they go to the chart first, then they look at the, then they look at the, um, if they even look at fundamentals. That transition, you know, of always looking at the chart first to then going to actually, no, I'm going to go to Bloomberg or Reuters or, you know, many of the bank analysis that we look at or whatever you look at um, and read, that transition, was that a quick transition or was it like a, a gradual thing? Did you have like those kind of habits where you would look yeah. at the technicals first and, you know what I mean? Yeah, How long did that take? yeah. So, you know, um well, I say, man, you know, traders, you know, we come out, you know, especially Forex, you know, we look at the quick buck, you know, trying to make the quick buck. So the technicals is kind of like a little false, little quick buck syndrome where you thinking like, man, you know, I'm going in, you know, I'm looking at the quick dollar and I, you know, so, you know, uh, I would say, you know, I it kind of gradually changed, you know, because I've got out that quick buck thinking because, you know, now I'm losing quick bucks, you know, how you how you your risk, you know, I mean, yeah. you know, you know, the higher your reward is, you know, the greater your risk. So yeah. I got started, you know, I'm like, man, you know, and I gradually changed to the fundamentals, to, you know, and like I say, you know, I wasn't a fundamental guy until I really came, you know, to trading 180, you know, and, you know, and you, you kind of made those news reports. I mean, you know, the articles, you made them sound so clear to me, man, to the, you know, now where, you know, like I say, I, I wouldn't, now I look at the fundamentals first, you know, before I even pop on the chart, I look at what's going on with the economy, you know, what's going on, you know, and, and you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't surprise nobody to not look at the fundamentals, you know, first. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I guess as well, fundamentals can be very daunting. Yeah. So you said that, um, you know, you didn't, you, you know, you, you might have been reading some articles and you didn't have a clue, you know, what you were reading, you know, the, the, the relationship between jobs and maybe inflation and the economy and how everything yeah. works. Because, um, you know, fundamentals can be very, uh, I guess, um, co um, complex and confusing. Right. And so um, now that you can, now that you understand the relationship and what to kind of focus on, it makes it really, it makes reading those articles on Bloomberg a lot easier, right? And then now, yeah. you, you know what I mean? Now you can actually understand what the big money are actually saying. Right, right. You know, and why right. they're forecasting what they're forecasting rather than just, you know, taking lead from someone, some random person, an analyst online, Right, you know what I mean, and saying, okay, that person says buy, I'm gonna buy. In fact, you can make up your own mind because you right. know the fundamentals. Right, right. And then, like I say, man, you know, just you know, man, trading 180, man. You know, I say, man, it's a great community. You know, everything is, you know, and you that we got a good culture. You know, Thank man, you. you know, like I say, and then from from when I first came there, you know, and everything, like I say, you kind of simplified it you know with the gdp interest rates and inf in inflation and jobs yeah so yeah the way way i learned from you you know we, we uh, kind of you know simplified it you know and and made it easier to understand you know if that makes sense you know where yeah. you know i was able to just you know look at look at these and understand them and you know uh you know and if i had questions you know you would answer them for me you know and uh, that, that totally made me understand. So, you know, right, right, like, right, start to put together, like, right, the, the relationship between inflation and, you know, jobs and, you know, GDP and, you know, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. And you just, and you see it play out in the price in the markets over time, right? You've seen uh, it, you know, you've seen it do right, that. Yeah, right, yeah. I mean, you know, seeing them, you know, uh, you know, uh, just say supply and demand zones, you know, uh, we wait, 
we understand what's going on with the country, you know, and understand what's going on with the fundamentals now. So now we're just waiting on the best price. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so what are some of your, um, you know, uh, light bulb moments? Because we all have these light bulb moments and I had many when I was learning, you know, where you're just like, oh my gosh, like your mind just blows and you know what I mean? You get another one and sometimes you get maybe 10 or 20, but maybe some of the light bulb moments where, it, you know, certain things just clicked yeah. or started. So, my, so a light bulb moment was for me was when, um, when I first learned about basically like, you know, <laughs> currencies is currencies, you know what I'm right. saying? You know, and, and it might seem so simple, but, what is a currency, you know, I, you know, and there was a light bulb moment, like, you know, this is just a means for exchange, you know, where we, you know, countries exchanging currencies for, you know, this currency and that currency. So, you know, we get blinded by, you know, what currencies is, you know, and we, and, and that's what Forex is. It's just, you know, so I found out that how interest rate differentials, you know, uh, can, and, and capital flows and, and, you know, it's basically the uh, it's the basis of currency. You know, and you know, when I, when I found that out, that was like, duh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think traders miss that simple fact, like, man, what yeah. is currency? So you know what I mean? Like, it means exchange, like you know, store value. You know, like yeah. yeah. It's a it's a very interesting, very interesting point you make in terms of um, just that simple fact, right? Because not every asset class is the same. So a lot of technical traders will, they will trade the same strategy on every single asset class. But in fact, you actually have to treat assets differently because they have different fundamentals, right? Right. Do you know what I mean? Right. And so you have to know I mean, yeah, we do have intermarket analysis and everything is related. Bonds are related to Forex. Forex, you know, is related to, you know, stocks, et cetera, in, in, in terms of interest rates and things like that. But typically, you know, it's it's important to keep that in mind. You know, what moves the exchange rate? And what moves an exchange rate, yeah, is not going to be the same as if you're trading stocks. So the fundamentals of stocks is different and indices are different to forex and just remembering that point that in fact this is what actually moves forex market it's not the technicals it's you know what i mean what's going on behind it right 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 you know what i mean that's definitely was a light bulb moment man yeah. you know for me, like whoa like okay this is you know that's right and and you kind of explain that like you know what i'm saying and i don't know if you was putting it in that lamest term you know where you know this is currency but you know, you made that clear to me, like, where, you know, like, you know, how to trade it. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah, yeah. Um, so what other light bulb moments did you have? Can you think of any any other ones? Um, okay. Um, oh, well, look, I guess figuring out, um, figuring out um, your strategy. You know, right. and how effective it is. Dang, you know, I, you know, those supply and demand strategies and, you know, when, you know, and um, because, right, before I got to trading 180, you know, I'm trading other other strategies and other technicals and, you know, things like that. And, you know, um, man, I got into it and, and I was looking at, looking at your strategy, doing back testing and, you know, and I'm, you know, oh man, you know, uh, man, this is the strategy, you know, this yeah. he's yeah. on to something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, this guy knows yeah. his tech. I always tell you, yeah. I think we, the guy knows those technicals, yeah. man, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And um, you know, I think you sent me a message the other day um about stop hunts. You know, and you were just saying that, you know, stop hunt is really buying at value, right? It's like the, the most bargain price, the cheap price, the most discount price you can buy at, right? When you when you put it into its proper context, that's what stop hunting is. It doesn't happen right. all the time, but when it is, when it does work, like for example, with today, I mean, well, yeah, sorry, today with the New Zealand dollar, right? Because you got in on that pound New Zealand trade 
and mm -hmm. you posted it yesterday and you said your analysis was you know you're at you're anticipating the uh, just in case the RB and Z actually are a bit hawkish which they turned out to be right 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 but where it was on a price chart looked like a brilliant buy in anticipation of that you could have been wrong but if you were right the risk reward was man i'm talking about spy. hey man can't hey man yeah let's look at that on a price effective, chart matter highly effective highly effective yeah let's look at that on a price chart so i did a kind of circle this as well so that was this was this was the um the, the trade setup right and you got in up, up at the top Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I remember you posted that uh, that trade, and you got in up there, and uh, you made a little, I guess, a little uh, little error in terms of taking taking profit. Yeah, not, yeah. not setting your <laughs> not not take not setting any uh, take profits. Yeah, I had was working and you know running out the house and you know running out the office and you know my girl bugging me. That's why I tell her don't bug me when I'm trading. <laughs> And, you know, leave me alone. Let's yeah. Do this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know what? You're still up at the end of the day, and it was a, it was it's just proof that you know what I mean the, the fundamentals. Once you when you get them aligned, and then they go in your favor, you know the risk rewards are um you know are are are, are brilliant, right? Right. Yes. Because sir. who would think yes, of really buying up here unless? you're anticipating a change in the fundamentals like nobody you know is gonna you know um is gonna buy especially in the face of that price action nobody but you did you bought the yeah, uh, yeah. The, the new zealand dollar right some people might say oh you faded that but to have the confidence to do that yeah when this is all you're seeing most retail traders are never gonna stand in the front in, in front of that right Right, right, right. And, and, I mean? and that's kind of like a light bulb moment again, you know, because it, like, like you said, you know, when I first came to trading 180, you know, right. So when I first came, I was just I was focused on the, uh, the fundamentals. But so it was kind of hard for me, you know, to to, to do the strategies with, you know, uh, with the technicals. You know, that's why, mm -hmm. you know, when if you remember I, when I first came, I was kind of like back testing them. I wasn't yeah. I was actually trading them. You know, yeah. I was just back testing, you know, but and it came to me, man, when I seen how effective they was, you know, at catching bargain prices, you know, and I try to understood the, you know, the uh, the method, you know, of what, you know, of, of how you uh, trade it, you know mm. what I'm saying? And man, it was spot on, spot yeah. on. Yeah, and that was a that was a really good trade. If only you were taking some profits, you know what I mean, around here. But you're still in that trade, right? You're still in that trade. Yeah, still holding. yeah, yeah. I'm still in it. Okay, cool. Um, so I actually added a position when it came back up, and oh, really? Right there, yeah, I brilliant. That gap in, I kind of added, so brilliant. I post that because that's probably not a, you know. I no, I mean it's <laughs> it's it's a bit of a gap CPR, I think. Yeah, so that would be a gap CPR, um, probably somewhere around here. Anyone who was anyone who was uh long trying to get long at this area here on right. a pullback would have been caught, right? They would have been caught in their trades, capture, the gap down, pain, and then the relief right there. So, yep, that's it. Perfect, perfect yeah. gap CPR. Yeah. Perfect gap CPR. So, um, a recent fundamental, apart from this, a recent fundamental trade idea that you are really proud of, like one of those fundamental trade ideas that you just, you know, you you, you think to yourself, I got it. You know what I mean? I, I planned it and it worked out brilliantly. What was, uh, what was the, uh, your most, one of your most proudest uh, trade ideas? Um, so we go back to that Euro trade. Uh, well, I don't think we was going to record then, but. Uh, Euro, Euro dollar. Yeah. Remember we had, remember. Um, the conversation. Like, yeah. Yeah. The conversation. Last year. Yeah, it was last year when Euro fundamentals was changing. And, do you remember? You know, do you remember was, roughly when it exactly when it was? Because I got in on this slightly late. <laughs> I say slightly late, yeah. but I got it on late later than you did. Matter of fact, because I know you were one of the first to kind of um, to 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 jump on this and and switch your bias to I'm, I'm, a Euro. I'm thinking, I'm thinking October. 
was it October? It was somewhere around here. Yeah. Yeah, it was somewhere around there. Yeah. Brilliant. Like so, at the lows. Yeah. So you got in at these lows? Yeah, I think it was a uh it could have been a stop hunt down there. Okay. Yeah, it could have been a stop hunt down there or something, you know. Right. So so what was it fundamentally? Do you remember that was just you were saying to yourself, you know what? I probably want to be a buyer of the euro or a seller of the dollar. Do you remember? Yeah. So, so like as I, as you know, uh, me and Ken like the PMIs. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. Because you know we can we can you know kind of I guess that's a good gauge of basically it goes into GDP. You know, so absolutely. I've been figuring that out as I was you know as I you know when when I did come to trading one eighty and learn about GDP. So I just wanted to understand, like, you know, um, what could go into GDP where, you know, I can see the fundamentals or the economy is changing and getting better, you mm. know, and the PMIs do a good job at that, you know. And um, so I was um, looking at the PMIs and, yeah. you know, um, they started, uh, you know, uh, uh, turning, you know, not not I wouldn't say positive, but they started getting better, yeah. you know, uh, from contracting, you know. And uh, yeah, that's what kind of got me on, on board with the euro. You know, I was looking at the fundamentals, and well, you know, the jobs kind of was you know okay, you mm. know, stable, and you know, uh, they were not deteriorating, and you know, uh, yeah, and then you know, so the fundamentals was changing, so that changes the rhetoric about uh, the central bank being able to hike the rates or not, and if the and if the economy could support that, you know, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, and that's so that was like a changing moment, and I got in on a, you know, I it had to be a, uh, it had to be a stop on a trade. I think I got, uh, right, you know, maybe about, uh, good, I, I want to say five hundred pips, you know? five hundred of that. Well yeah. done, man. Yeah. Well yeah. done. I remember as well is that one of the reasons I was I was short on this around this time as well until. Um, probably later in the year, maybe around about December, I think, and towards the end of December, maybe coming in January, I thought to myself, something's not right. Well, say not right, but I didn't necessarily um, uh, catch on was one of the things was the weather as well. Because remember, I think we were expecting really cold weather. And with the cold weather would have uh, basically um, not been great for uh the euro because of you know maybe you know the um the ukraine war russia was rationing etc and things were may have got worse for the euro economy but because the weather was really good as well yeah, yeah. as that started to change we had a mild winter a very mild winter um it didn't affect gdp as much so as you say you know the pmis would were, 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 were coming in okay the warm weather and then by the time we, you know, we got to maybe, you know, uh, towards the uh, December, you know, into January is when I started saying, ah, you know what? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then, and it's nothing, right? We were talking about this. We were discussing this earlier, right? There's there's times where in fundamentals where we're, we're not going to see eye to eye. It doesn't happen too often, right? But it can happen. It, has, it happens from time to time where it might just be a timing thing. Right. It might be a timing thing. You might see something. You might share it with the group. I'm saying mm, there's certain things that I maybe want to see first before I jump in. But you're you and Ken or Lawrence or whoever might say, oh, do you know what? I think I want to be a buyer here. And then, you know, I will jump on board. You know what I mean? You, you know what I'm saying? I'm following you. Right. You know what I mean? Eventually <laughs> it, comes, it comes out. Right. But, and and vice versa. Right. So there's times where I might say I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm short on the on the on the end, for example. So we might think, oh, well, not really too sure because da 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 da. And then eventually, you know, there are times where the timing and the fundamentals just line up and everyone is just a no brainer to go long or go short. But there are times with, with the fundamentals, and this is just being honest to anyone who's listening, where it's not always going to be clear to everybody. Right. It doesn't make you know something it couldn't you can't. It's not always a buy. It's not always a sell. There's always going to be even if you go to you know, you read certain articles, there might be one analyst that might say, well, we want to be a buyer of the dollar. And there might be another analyst that might say, you want to be a seller of the dollar, right? Those are times where it might be just like, you think to yourself, hmm, shall I stay in, shall I stay out, right? 
because having yeah, I think you showed a uh, it was a video where, on a group calls back probably this year where you yeah. had a little situation where you know this analyst was calling for you know to buy and this analyst was calling yeah. for the sell and I'm if yeah. I'm if I'm not quite too sure but I think it was the dollar though yeah it was the dollar and that's and that's okay as well there's going to be moments like that right mm -hmm. but there are also going to be moments where everything is as clear as day, where it's just, you know, the dollar is a screaming sell or the, you know, the yen or the pound is a screaming buy, et cetera. And so, you know, part of the group is that we all are, I'm continuing, even, even though, yes, I'm mentoring you guys, I'm still learning, right? I still learn and it's, I'm not so ignorant and uh, closed minded to not include, for example, now I've got PMIs, on the spreadsheet have you noticed before oh, I never, yeah, 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 I i've got pmis right you know what i mean so, <laughs> <laughs> so so those types of things we all as a group you know we lift each other up and that's and that's what what we want to do right that's what, exactly what we do you know in, in, the, in the community you great know so community. yeah yeah it's a great great trade idea great trade um and um yeah brilliant man that euro dollar yeah, that um, that definitely took uh, a lot of people off guard. And then, you know, we had the pullback we were talking about. I think I got, again, long on that euro um, towards the end of December. And then it was just a case of, all right, then wait for that pullback, right? The pullback comes. I didn't actually get in on the euro dollar. I ended up getting on that euro CAD. Did you get in on that euro CAD trade? Yeah, 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 the euro CAD. Yeah, the euro CAD was a, was, a, was a really nice one as well. Um, that was the one where, that was one where, like you said, you know, sometimes, you know, where we be, you know, uh, you know, indecisive, you know, or, you know, not really sure or lining up with each other. But that was one where it was clear, yeah. you know, clear, you know, where we, you know, we can't, you know, be wrong on this trade here. Yeah. You know yeah. We got in, we got in around here and then literally rolled it up. I took profit yeah. around here. I think, you know, I think is it you can, I think maybe Daniel ended up getting in around that demand zone there again. And then it just went higher, right? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, there are there are clear, obvious trades, and that's where you want to make your money, right? That's it. That's what we're trying to do is on a trade idea, you know, just rinse it, squeeze it as much as we can, you know, out of that trade. Um, brilliant, brilliant, man. And um, and so, last question is, how would you describe the difference between um, learning from videos, let's say, for example, YouTube, TikTok? And actually, um, you know, being with a mentor, how is the, the, you know, what's the difference between those two when someone is learning? Uh, for me, uh, I was I was telling my girl this set this morning. Uh, I like best of the both worlds, you know, because mm. you know, I you know, I don't want to nag no one all the time, you know, because mm. I, I I can have a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to be keep on raising my hand. Hey, hey. So now that's what I'm I here like for, though, right? The, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah. So I like to look at the videos first, and you know, put them on repeat. How many times can I understand it? But but I love having having you there as a mentor. You know, where I can I can say ask. You know, what I'm saying, and, you know, hey man, Leon, I just don't get this. You know, what I'm yeah. saying, you know, and you know, I'm you know I'm trying to make sense to it because I hate where I don't understand something. You know, and yeah. you know, and and. and and man, you know, I can say that you, that's, you know, that's why I love the mentor that you give, you know, her at Trading 180, because, you know, even if you, you know, probably don't know it, you're going to find out how to know it and let, and give us the best advice about it. You know what I'm saying? For sure, man. You Absolutely. Know? And, and, and you, and, and I like how you do it because you don't back it up with just what you say, you know, it's about what others say that's experienced at this, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I like that about you a lot, you know? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I mean, yeah, mentoring and trading, I guess, can be quite lonely. And it's, diff it's difficult to kind of, you know, we've all been there where we've been at the screen by ourselves. And it's like, what do we do today? And a lot of times watching videos on YouTube and TikTok can be very confusing as well because you've got conflicting strategies, you've got conflicting ideas, and some people want to trade the lower time frames and scalp. Some people want to trade the higher time frames, and it's very difficult sometimes for a trader to be by themselves just watching videos, right? Whereas with mentoring, and I know for me, 
um, having mentoring with uh, with Mark Chapman, you know, it, it keeps you, it kept me anyway, focused, right? I could, yeah. in, like you say, I could ask him anything he would answer. We would have conversations. Do you know what I mean? We'd have group calls and we have group calls and where I'm saying, ask me anything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, it, it does, it makes a difference, you know, yeah, rather than just, yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Whereas yeah. a video, you can only get so much from a video. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, right, right. You can't, like you say, you just can't get, you know, so sometimes, you know, the video works like, ah, do I understand it? And now that, like you said, now you're going from another video to another video. Yeah. So, yeah, just being able to let's just X that out and, hey, man, what, Leon, what's this? You know yeah. what I mean? You know, I don't understand it. You know? Yeah. You know? and, and so having a mentor is, you know, I would say is, is, is terrific, man. You know what I'm saying? Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so much for doing this, uh, for doing this interview and, um, you know, your review of Trading 180. And uh, I really do appreciate it, Spencer. I really do appreciate it. And I'm glad you've been getting the results you've been getting. You know, you turned your trading around. I was saying, you know, before this, I remember when you first came in and, you know, where you are now is just different person, man. Different person, yeah. different analysis. You know, you're a valued member of the community. Um, your analysis is is top notch. And, um, you know, I appreciate you and I appreciate, you know, uh, what you bring to the community. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Oh, man, you're getting blessed. Man. I like that. I like that. Oh. <laughs> you know, no, give me your flowers. I'll give you your too, flowers. Though, Leon, though, man, for real, though, man, you've been a... A, 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 a great, a great inspiration and a great mentor, man, and a great coach towards my, you know, career, man. And, you know, I want to say, man, that, you know, uh, man, trading one, trading 180 is everything to me, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, I yeah. really like it. I really love the community, man. And, you know, I just, you know, man, God bless you. Man. Really. Thank you. And you too. And you too. Thank you again. And uh, for anyone who does want to join the Trading 180 community, um, go to the website. If there's an opening, you can join. If not, then there will be one probably in the future at some point. And um, yeah. yeah. That got me too. I liked it that too, how you do the open enrollment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I'm what only... that do for me, it make me, it make you kind of like intrigued to find out what is this about? This guy got the open enrollment where, you know, I'm 30 days out. Oh, I want to yeah. get in now, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but I like, but you know what? I, I used to, but I used to keep it open 24 seven. And I found that it doesn't work because a lot of, because some people come in because they're coming in maybe at different points. I get asked the same questions. And while I don't mind repeating myself, it's a lot of work when you have people coming in every day. If I have it in batches, do you know what I mean? If I have, and then I know, okay, I've got maybe, you know, maybe 10 people, 15, 20 people that, that's joined. So then I know now that I can kind of, you know what I mean? Focus on them and bring them through. And when you think about school, right? No one doesn't join school at every single every single day. You don't get new students joining a club. Right, you have semesters, you have terms. And so it's, it's and that's because, you know, the teachers, right? right you know right. it's easier for them to keep everybody on the same page etc so right, right. Man, you know it, students are a little better with you know the work right that's actually. exactly it yeah. you know what i mean yeah. so so it's so it's 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 that it makes my work easier you know what i mean and um yeah. you know um and again it gives you an opportunity i guess you know if you don't want to join today or you know next week you can join next month or the next time i have the opening but um but yeah for anyone who wants to join there is an opening, I think, at the moment. I think it uh, uh, was it the fifth, seventh. It closes, and then from then, maybe in June, July, maybe possibly, um, I'll have another opening. But um, but yeah, Spencer, thank you again, much appreciated, and um, I'll see you in the group call tonight. It's going to be in a what is it? Uh, in an hour and a half, just over, just over an hour and a half. Yeah. So, I'm, are you are you coming? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get ready for it now uh probably do a little bit of day trading and then yeah i'll be in there yeah all right so, nice. cool i'll see you later and um yeah to everyone else watching the video thank you for what for listening and watching this long and stay to the end and take care hope you have a blessed uh, trading right. week all take right. care. come on in guys come on in trading <laughs> the best man you know
All right. Take care now. Take care, man.